Yeah, so I met this girl who basically before I, I hung out with her, a voice in my head told me to ask her to smoke. And literally like like the when we hung out, I knew right away why the voice in my head told me to ask her that because she was like a reflection of me. That's a good way of putting it. It's like her life, like the, the way that men were treating her was the same way that women were treating me. It goes both ways. And that and that's what the lesson from talking to this girl was showing me. It was like, like everybody's dealing with this problem. And it's like there 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 are girls out there who are like me who aren't like dealing with all this weird trauma shit that makes them evil. Like they can just relax and be good fucking people. It's nice. It's, she's really nice. Like it, I just I just like talking to her. Just knowing like, hey, like there's this girl who's just not a piece of fucking shit. Because I kind of, like, put myself in that bubble where, like, it was, like, every single woman is, like, this guy does Venus. <laughs> They're all just, like, get down your fucking knees. <laughs> but it's not true. And it's, like, like, literally, like, just right now, I was thinking about it. Like, my wife was jealous of this girl. Like, and my wife, like, always told me she didn't care about me, not attracted to me, nothing like that. But she was, like, jealous of this girl for some reason. And, like, I remember this this one time she she walked past me in the hallway. Like, after I started talking, everybody knew I was talking to this girl. And, the like, the girl who I was talking to was Asian. And she she literally... She was like, she was like, oh, ching, ching, chong, ching, chong, ching, or something like that. Like, right when she went past me, like, kind of just be like, fuck you, you're fucking, like, just, 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 like, rub it in my face for some reason. Like, it was a bad thing that she was fucking Asian. Like, it was like, it was like, fuck you. <laughs> like, the, the, like, the, the Asian girl who I was talking to was, like, so nice, too. Like, like, I was just thinking about her. She literally paid like a hundred or a hundred fifty dollars to to for a ten minute ride to come see me. Like she could have offered the person who gave her a ride like a, like ten bucks, twenty bucks, something. Like I'll I'll do a favor for you or something. She she literally paid this person a hundred hundred fifty bucks when we were like in high school, like kids, like didn't even have money like that, right? That's a lot of money for, like, some kids in high school. Just, like, fucking just... Just be like, oh, 150 real quick. Like, <laughs> like to come see me. Because that's how much she, 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 she liked me and wanted me and wanted to see me and appreciated me. Like, fucking... Just, that makes me feel like a man. That's who I am. I'm a fucking man. And, like, all these girls, they see it and they know it. And I just have to find the right girls. Cause, like, cause I've just been like sitting down and thinking like, like I, I've told people that before about the whole, like the girl, like paying money to come see me. And I remember this, I don't know who it was, but this one guy was like, he was like, what? He was like, why aren't you fucking married to her? And I'm thinking about it now. He's fucking right. Like that is definitely the fucking girl you marry. Like one that cares that fucking much. Like, jeez, like, my, like, <laughs> my wife turned me into a fucking slave for money. <laughs> and this girl was paying, like, like, big money at the time for a 10-minute ride to come see me. Like, 
What the fuck? Like a guy was totally raised. Like I said, like that's the girl you should marry. And he he was just like so like it made me think. It was like I really did not see it as, as such an amazing thing back then. Like back then I was like, wow, like you really fucking paid so much money. Like, damn. <laughs> like I was happy, I was like, yeah, good, I wanted to see you and shit. But like like all these years later, like thinking about it, like dealing with all that stuff with my wife and seeing how much like money is like this big problem and how like women treat it and treat men for it and like it's crazy and it's like like my wife was jealous of this girl for some fucking reason like she just was jealous and it's like i'm telling you it's because like she just knew that she was a good girl like, she just knew that this girl was fucking great. And she just, like, 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 some natural instinct inside of her, like, told her to just be, like, get the fuck away from my man. <laughs> even though it wasn't even like that. It was just, like, there was, there, like, like, her soul knew, like, like, oh. I don't, know, I don't know why I was thinking about this. Just, yeah, she's jealous of this girl. Yeah, there's, there's, there's good girls out there. Like, there really is. But like you, you were like. Like, you're getting yourself into a lot of trouble when you begin to trust somebody. Boy or girl, you know, like, it doesn't matter like, who they are. Like, like, any person you meet. Like, everyone around me, like, they, they, they talk to everyone. Like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, all friendly with everybody. Like, What I've been thinking about today is people, like majority of the people on this planet all think that there are way more people who you can trust who are nice people than there really are. Like, like the average person thinks that like majority of the people on this planet are, are fucking like good. Like, you go to the grocery store, like, all those people in there, like, like, like people, like, yeah, you can have a conversation with them, and they're, they're nice and stuff, but I'm telling you that those people who you just think are nice, normal people, you, you just, uh, you, you talking it up real quick with at the grocery store, like, those are the same people who will put you through hell, who will literally, like, tell you that they love you and care about you for fucking 20 years, and then break your fucking heart, and you realize that they were cheating on you the whole fucking time. And they fucking hated you. Because they're, they're, they got some weird fucking problem with them. That they just don't know how to deal with. Spiritual, physical, mental, whatever. It just, it just really sucks. So you go out and you have a good night and you think there's like good vibes and 